And there's no, uh, by the way, in the state tax or, you know, the carry, you're not, the basis is not changing. Right. Remember that? Right, but I, to, that. To, go, to go back to Carl's point, I mean, I How's it going, everyone? And this is Daniel. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Tesla stock. We're going to go over exactly at why Tesla stock could potentially explode by the end of the year and also in 2022. We're also going to be talking about when Elon Musk could potentially be finishing selling his shares and why that he could potentially be finished selling his shares in the next few days or within a matter of a week. We're also going to be talking about a debate between billionaires paying enough taxes or not, especially with Elon Musk. So we're going to go over and watch a specific video about that too. So all this important information in this video coming up. So as you can see over here, we have Tesla stock that is sitting at $975.99. As you can see today, we're up 1.82%. After hours, we are getting closer to that $1,000 area. So that is looking pretty good for tomorrow. So when you compare Tesla stock and also the overall stock market, as you can see, the overall stock market is super bullish right now and we're getting closer to hitting all time highs. So the past few days, we've been talking about this important economic meeting that was happening today with the Federal Reserve and they're gonna be talking about inflation rate hikes and what's their plan is going into 2022 so they had some pretty good information that they laid out so everything that was expected for them to do or say they said it so let's just hear from federal jerome powell what he had to say about inflation and rates for 2022 now we're in a position where we're ending our taper uh, within the next uh, well but by march in two meetings and we'll be in a position to raise interest rates as and when we think it's appropriate and we will if that to the extent that's appropriate at the same time we're going to be seeing a few more months of data i don't actually think we're out of position now i think i think this was an important move for us to make i think that the data that that we got uh toward the end of the fall was uh was uh, was a really strong signal that inflation is uh is more persistent and higher and that the risk of of it remaining higher for longer has grown and i think we're reacting to that now and we'll continue to adapt our policy so i wouldn't look at it that we're behind the behind the curve i would look at it that, that we're actually in position now to take the steps that we'll need to take uh you know in a thoughtful manner to address all of the issues including that of of too high inflation so the Fed is also expecting inflation to be at 2.6% next year, along with three rate hikes in 2022. And we also have three rate hikes coming in in 2023 and two rate hikes in 2024. And Jerome Powell is saying that inflation is going to be close to 2% by the end of next year. So that is pretty good information that was laid out. That's the plan. So we'll see if everything is going to go according to a plan. So this is going to be super important for the overall stock market. And if the overall stock market is doing pretty good, we know that Tesla stock is going to also do pretty good also. So when you look at Tesla stock right now, as you can see over here, we're sitting at $975. And the only thing that is could potentially affect Tesla stock from going up, exploding to the upside is, of course, Elon Musk selling shares. So yesterday, we talked about that Elon Musk, 5 million shares that is remaining for him to sell. So we expect for him to finish selling pretty soon. And once, once he finishes, there is no other negative catalyst that is going to hold back Tesla stock from going up. So we're getting closer to retesting the $1,000 price point right around over here. And after hours, we're just sitting at $991. But the most important thing is, of course, is when could Elon Musk finish selling? So as we go into 2022, there is a new tax plan that's going to significantly affect billionaires. So if Elon Musk wants to avoid that, he wants, he needs to finish selling his shares before we get into 2022. So I believe a lot of people also believe that Elon Musk is going to be finished selling his shares by the end of the year. So if that happens, Tesla stock is going to go up higher and higher. We also have the Santa Claus rally that's going to be coming up and we might potentially see Tesla stock going up above $1,000, potentially testing $1,100 pretty soon. So that's going to be looking pretty bullish for Tesla stock. But of course, the main thing is we need to break out of this $1,000 area and hold above that. So we'll see what Elon Musk is going to be doing selling pretty soon, but we expect him to finish selling 
within a matter of days or even weeks before we get into 2022. Now, let's talk about Elon Musk feud that happened on Twitter. So we're also going to be hearing from Kramer talking about exactly are billionaires paying enough taxes? Yeah, there's a lot of debate going on back and forth. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, are billionaires paying enough taxes compared to the average person? So let's check out this video and then I'm going to come back and we're also going to be talking about short-term price prediction for Tesla stock. Senator Warren, obviously not a fan, takes a shot at Musk by tweeting, let's change the rigged tax code so the person of the year will actually pay taxes and stop freeloading off everyone else. Musk fires back in a series of tweets and if you opened your eyes for two seconds, you'd realize I will pay more taxes than any American in history this year. Don't spend it all at once. Oh wait, you already did. Also says you remind me of when I was a kid and my friend's angry mom would just random yell, ye randomly yell at everyone for no reason. <laughs> that was great. He is a kinder, gentler uh, Musk, mom? by the way. But can we just say that he's, she's now picked on two people yeah. who have paid their taxes and been incredibly uh, generous, uh, Musk and, and Lee Cooperman, that it would be time, it's time to turn the guns on the cheesy, cheap guys who make billions and do nothing. Okay. Why are By you the way, it's possible for them both to be right. He is paying more in taxes probably in one year than anybody's but ever why, paid why, because of the gains that he has. But she's saying he doesn't pay taxes. She said Lee right. Cooperman's not that, you know. At he's the like, same time, there are, as we know, guy? plenty of the wealthiest people in this country who pay far less than well, uh, a typical W-2 them. employee would pay. Uh, we I know think, that. Do you want Pecora hearings? I don't know. It's time for what the Pecora hearings, where we bring down the five richest people and find out what the hell they're doing. Uh, I think that Senator Warren uniquely is decided to, to pick on the rich, and that I don't know if it really resonates in this country. I think what resonates in this country is that Musk has taken back the, the manufacturing mantle from the Germans and the Chinese. Although and social like mobility that. in this country is not particularly high, as you well know. People do not escape their often escape their um, ceiling hence the Starbucks, hence the unionized Starbucks versus 1918. We all hope that there is enormous ability to create great wealth, well, but David, that doesn't typically what, what, come actually through the numbers. And you know what has the greatest upper, what country has the greatest upward mobility? No, I don't. China. 800 million people became middle class. That is true. There's a new place, that's a new uh, a new construction project that's not doing well. We have these construction companies that, boy, she must hate these guys. But you're in favor of a tax system that would be viewed as fair by all, right? I don't know. I'm in the 54% bracket. I know. Uh, by the way, Look, I ain't yes. got nothing to complain about. I'm doing well, okay? I mean, do I want to pay 60? No. But I've, I've, I've got, there's so other people who resident, more. You're going to be there. If you're a W2 I'm a Jersey employee, resident. you no, are I'm a Jersey resident trouble. and a New, New York yes. resident, which is why my yes. taxes are the highest in the country. Yes. Because well, New Jersey's well, deemed me a resident and New York's deemed me a resident. Meanwhile, we've got I can't no workarounds, it. right? I mean, even in a law firm now, you can somehow figure out a way to avoid, avoid the SALT tax. Right. Partnerships right. are figuring out ways to do that. We can't. SALT to um, me is the old no uh, anti-nuclear pact. And, and so then, obviously, you still have carried interest if you are a member of a private equity or even some right. hedge funds that benefit from it, although they're well, shouldn't at least Senator Warren the whole just time focus on that? Long. Shouldn't she just focus on Democrats get a lot of money? And there's no, uh, by the way, in the state tax or, you know, the carried, you're not, the basis is not changing. Right. Remember that? Right, but I, I to, to, go, to go back to Carl's point, I mean, I, I still think, you take a guy like Musk, I think Musk is revered in the country. I think he's a real bad target. Yes, he should be. Because, I mean, Musk, in the end, is... If we're going to beat the Chinese and the Russians, who are now an axis, not unlike what they had in 1951, we better support the people who make things and do stuff. Right. Now you want to you want to champion our giants. I get that. Yes. On the other hand, kind of benefited from a boatload of government subsidies, and he didn't build Tesla in South Africa. He built it here because the U.S. has a few things to offer that maybe you should pay for. Well, I do think that we do have an imperative in the country to make the skies cleaner. I do think his new cause, which is autonomous driving, is a good one because every time one person is unfortunately fatally a fatal accident uh, that's in a autonomous, we've decided that that's no good. But we have many, many stories about people who die in accidents that never get written about. And so I think his autonomous driving is a life-saving venture. It conceivably it. could be, although even there he's come in for some criticism in terms of their use only of cameras as opposed to LIDAR or radar well, and other Jensen things Wong, that are being pursued by some of the competitors when it comes to autonomy. Right. Jensen Wong has said over and over again to me when I said, look, when you have a car facing, it's got three people that it's going to run over or one, does it swerve? 
And he says, no, because it never gets in that situation because it's so much better than we are in anticipation. So the short term price prediction for Tesla stock is for us, especially for tomorrow. If we can maintain, if we break out of the $1,000 area, if we gap up and if Elon Musk does not sell his shares, we might potentially see Tesla stock go above $1,000 and close above $1,000. So that is going to be the short term price target for Tesla stock. So that's going to be for the video. If you want free stocks, make sure you check out the links in the stream box. There's five free stocks that you can get from Momo if you sign up. And if also if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification, I would really appreciate that too. But I catch you guys on another video. Have a wonderful day.